pardon a standard directed angle is said to be in the first second third or fourth quadrant accordingly as its terminal arm lies in the first second third or fourth quadrant quadrantal angle if the terminal arm of a directed standard angle lies along any of the coordinate axes then it is called a quadrantal angle in the above figure angles alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are quadrantal angles the measure of a quadrantal angle is an integral multiple of 90 degrees if the measure of a standard directed angle is not an integral multiple of 90 degrees then it is clearly an angle in a quadrant let theta degree be the measure of a directed angle in standard position if 0 degree less than theta degree less than 90 degrees then the angle lies in the first quadrant such an angle is called an acute angle if 90 degrees less than theta degree less than 180 degrees then the angle lies in the second quadrant such an angle is called an obtuse angle if 180 degrees less than theta degree less than 270 degrees then the angle lies in the third quadrant if 270 degrees less than theta degree less than 360 degrees then the angle lies in the fourth quadrant circular system that is radian measure one radian is the measure of an angle subtended at the center of the circle by an arc of the circle the length of the arc being equal to the radius of the circle in the above figure major angle poq equal to 1 radian and as per convention major angle qop equal to minus 1 radian the system of measuring angles in which the measures of angles are expressed in radians is called circular system we note that if the measure of angle poq is 1 radian then 1 radian measures is independent of the radius of the circle relation between radian measure and degree measure if we take pi equal to 3.14159 then we have one radian is approximately 57 degrees 17 minutes 48 seconds that is 57.3 degrees and 1 degree is approximately equal to 0.01745 radian since 1 radian equal to 180 upon pi degree to convert an angle in radian to degrees multiply that angle by 180 upon pi therefore x radian equal to 180 upon pi into x degrees also 1 degree equal to pi upon 180 radian therefore to convert an angle in degree to radian multiply it by pi upon 180 therefore x degrees equal to pi x upon 180 radian therefore we have 0 degree equal to 0 radian 30 degrees equal to pi by 6 radian 45 degrees equal to pi by 4 radians 60 degrees equal to pi by 3 radians 90 degrees equal to pi by 2 radians 180 degrees equal to pi radians 270 degrees equal to 3 pi upon 2 radians and 360 degrees equal to 2 pi radians hence forth we are going to deal with directed angles only hence we shall use the word angles to mean directed angles the radian measure theta radian of an angle will be denoted by theta only thus instead of writing pi by 4 radian we shall just write pi by 